rock fans from all around the world. It's that time of the month again. It's MPJ's new rock album review show. And uh, I'm your host, Nigel Matthews. Welcome to my panel, to Dave Green, to Trish Wright, and to Paul Matthews. Welcome, gang. Hello. Hello. So, it's March. There's a new format. We're reviewing single albums. And then, at the end of all of that, we're going to have a result show. Dun, 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 where we're going to vote, uh, reveal our votes and see whether any of our albums get into our Hall of Fame. Whether they qualify, potentially, for the end of the Album of the Year show. Today, today, ladies and gentlemen, we are reviewing Mother Mother and, uh, and their album, Grief Chapter. Mother Mother is a Canadian indie rock band based in Quantra Island, British Columbia. The band consists of Ryan Guldemon on guitar and vocals, Molly Guldemon and Jasmine Perkin on vocals and keyboard, Ali Sadat on drums and Mike Young on bass. Longtime bassist Jer- Jeremy Page left the band in 2016. After forming 2005, the independent released their self debut album, album the same year under the name Mother, and they later changed their name to Mother Mother and re-released the album on Last Gang Records. Retitled Touch Up and reissue also featured several new songs. Um, So, uh, Mother Mother, Grief Chapter. Will this bring a chapter of grief or joy? Let's start with the person who gives us the most grief, and yet at the same time the most joy. Dave Green, uh, what do you think of Mother Mother? I'll take it. (laughs) Um, I don't know. Um, is the easy answer. Uh, the long run, oh, I'll start with the stuff that I do know. Um, the song The Matrix on the album, absolutely love it. Probably my favourite song out of any of these albums this month. Um, absolutely loved it, straight on the playlist. Um, but I don't know whether I enjoy this album or not. Every time I listen to it, I either really, really love it or I really hate it. And it, I, I don't know, I can't understand why, I can't explain why. It's one that I will definitely be going back to and listen to for a while yet, because I just can't, cannot decide. Sometimes I listen to it and I think, this is one of the best things since sliced bread. Then other times I listen to it and I'm like, nah, this is awful. What am I, what am I talking about? And I just, I can't make up my mind. I've listened to it about seven or eight times and I'm still undecided on it. But, I mean, it's interesting if nothing else. <laughs> Why? Why is it? Is it? I mean, sometimes we we talk about you. You have to be in a certain mood to listen to an album on times, you know. And particularly some of the heavier metal, you know, albums that we listen to, you know, you can listen to it and then and then I think, oh, I didn't like that, and then you put it into the car, crank it up, and like, it's, it's the weird. best thing to slice bread. So, what sort of moods have you been in to hate it? And what sort well, of moods have you been weird in to dislike it's like kind it? of at times it's kind of like it's got like an upbeat melancholy feel if that makes any sense whatsoever it's kind of the context of the music and the and the sort of style of it is fairly sort of melancholy but at the same time it can be quite upbeat it and it's just like yeah as you say it's probably the mood it's it's got to hit the right sort of mood and it's just got to be a mood where i'm sort of fairly open to listening to it and it's, if I'm, if it's something that i'm just putting on to chill with in the background i think that's the times when it doesn't really sort of hit it's got to be something that i actually sit down and listen to and then go yeah okay i can appreciate that if i put it on as sort of background music or just music while i'm doing something else that's when i i, I struggle with it i think it's, it's not really the sort of background sort of music sort of thing for me well let's hope for mother mother's sake that you're in a really good mood when you voted um <laughs> now Something we could ever decide whether we love or hate a sound of a voice. Um, let's find out if today we're going to love it. Trish White! Mother, mother! Oh my god, I'm loving these segues today. Um, so, this band is not my normal listen to kind of music. Um, but this album had a bit of everything. The slower melodic songs, some pop synth songs. I really liked the track Explode. The female lead at times really reminded me of Miley Cyrus, especially on Head Shrink. So that sort of gruff country rock sound, which worked really well on this album. It's an album to have on in the background if you just want to chill. A um, bit of chill rock, nothing too heavy. A nice album and a nice surprise. Um, I have to say, I did go and see them a couple of weeks ago in Brighton. And their whole show was fully upbeat. So the album doesn't reflect really what they are like live as well. So, yeah, good job. 
Now, somebody who always does a good job, always, always, without fail, he does a good job. But he's not here today. So, um, so Chris is not here today. So, let's go to Paul Matthews instead. Paul, what do you think of, uh, of Mother Mother? Yeah. Um, <laughs> some... <laughs> I don't know how to follow that, to be honest. Such such a poor introduction. It just it's left me deflated. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I'm sure you can pick yourself up. Well, well, I couldn't for this album, to be honest. So, to be honest, so having previously listened at, to and enjoyed the song Hayloft, I thought I knew uh, what I was getting myself into with Mother Mother's latest offering, uh, Grief Chapter. I was clearly wrong. Uh, one can only admire the band's refusal to stick to conventional song structures like, yeah, if you want to find out what's really happening in most songs, you click to about a minute in and that's when the chorus or the, the song really takes off and then you can double back to the beginning to see how the band built up to it. And in fact, I, I can only applaud them on their creativity. But even so, I suffer to appreciate a song that feels like two or three songs that have been conjoined together and it's not really something that I can get my teeth into for me it's a complete turn off this is a shame as I believe this is a super band in waiting they just need someone to stop them running around like a bunch of kittens chasing a ball of wool and have them create something that is much more comfortable to the audio senses Oh, he's not. This, he's not. He's not feeling it. He's feeling the grief this month, isn't he, people? Um, so listen, I, um, mother, mother. Uh, when I first started my musical journey um, doing that COVID, and I, and I decided to listen to the the top one hundred albums on Amazon, no matter what they were, uh, unless they were compilations or Christmas albums, I was going to listen to every single album in the top 100 of Amazon at, at the time. And Mother Mother's Oh My Heart was um, was in there. It was quite low down, probably in the 70s. And uh, ever since, ever since, well, no, not ever since then, that album was one of my highlights of, of that, that journey of listening to, and I wrote a blog about it. And, and Mother Mother was one of the highlights of Oh My Heart um, that I listened to because it was so out of there. It was so it was so much fun. It was really quirky. It was uh, it was just a brilliant album which set them on there. But I, and so I obviously then went on to try and listen to some of their other stuff. And and since then I've not really enjoyed much of what they've done. Um, they they've been wacky. You may you think they think they need somebody. They needed somebody back then or or since then because they've been a little bit too weird for my taste and uh, and. And a, a couple of years ago, when they brought Halo Two out there, I was so excited to listen to it, and it was awful. Uh, I really did not enjoy it at all. Um, this album, for me, is them back to their best. Um, it's upbeat, it's fun, it's foot tapping tracks. I love this album. Uh, Days, nobody to escape. It, it, it's a little bit wacky, and I think I think I know where Dave's coming from. Sometimes you go like, "That's a bit odd," um, but th the whole point about their structure is that they, you know, I think the strength pull is the fact that you don't know what's kind of going to quite happen. But at least with this album, it is a little bit more constructed. It is a little bit more, you know, um, formulated in terms of keeping them to a, a, a at least some sort of style and structure. That structure is a bit more looser than you know, a, another typical band, but in comparison to their previous stuff, it's just way all over the place. Um, at least this is a bit more commercial and a little bit more structure to it. Fantastic album, full of foot tapping songs, full of joy. Absolutely adore this album. Really good, really good. Not perfect, it's not perfect, but it's a really cracking album. Um, absolutely loved it. Really, really ticked all my boxes. And oddly, Nathan, who's really hard to please, probably one of his favourite albums he's listened to since he's been on this show, which is um, which is a real shock. So, and he says anybody who didn't like this song is a miserable sod and needs to get some love and joy into their life. Was uh, was the comment that he made to me. Um, so there we go. Um, right. Well, we're all a little bit split on that, uh, people. Um, any last comments? No. Well, let's see. 
Let's see if our wonderful people out there, our fans, would they leave a comment? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you like the mother mother? Do you agree with Paul? Do you agree with me? Um, or do you, uh, you sat in the middle like Dave? But then more Trish is more on my camp as well. So leave your comments. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Keep tuning in and check out the results show to see where the mother mother will get our album of the year or album of the month even. Um, so thank you very much to my wonderful crew, to Paul Matthews, to Dave Green and to Trish White. Keep on rocking out there, everybody. Bye, Bye for now.